It's been really fun. It's been really fun. I'm like glad I've met a lot of people. Okay, if you get to fish for a week, man, how do you not find that fun? Oh, there is nothing better than seeing a kid catch his first fish. I just learned a lot about trout fishing that I didn't know before. Just learn how to do a lot of different things. Western North Carolina is home to some of the best trout waters east of the Mississippi River. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains is the site for River Course, a week-long conservation and fly fishing experience for area youth. River Course provides a week of high-quality camping for 18 boys and girls between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. We want to educate them about how to catch a fish, how to tie a fly, how the purpose of conservation in, in regards to the watershed, and we want them to develop a, a sense of teamwork. It was Campers receive instruction by a staff of dedicated volunteers, including members of Trout Unlimited, the North Carolina Wildlife Resources, the U.S. Forest Service, and U.S. Park Service. This is a group of people that uh, we care about what we do. Most of us take vacation or we're retired, and, and we spend our time to go ahead and help with these kids, and, and that's... That's part of what we're doing. We're, we're showing that people do care. This camp emphasizes Trout Unlimited's mission, the conservation of cold water fisheries, while at the same time teaching campers the basics of fly fishing. The more they get into fly fishing and they figure out that um, trout live in beautiful places, they want to keep the places beautiful. Check-in builds excitement and anticipation as campers meet their counselors and other campers and are provided with their fly fishing gear supplied by River Course donors and sponsors. After a brief team building exercise, instruction and practice in fly fishing and conservation begins. A typical day for campers begins with tying flies that imitate the insects that they've discovered in the stream. Matching the actual insect patterns with artificial ones encourages imagination and the excitement of catching a fish with a fly tied by the camper. I just had the experience of someone catching their fish on the first fly they tied, and that is just like nirvana. Instructor-led casting sessions help improve stream etiquette and safety and basic skills. Lectures and hands-on learning are conducted in the classroom by speakers in specialized fields such as herpetology, geology, entomology, wetlands ecology, stream restoration, and environmental policy. We want them to be exposed to different people, different techniques, different styles. A midweek field trip includes a tour of a trout hatchery. Learning the life cycle of trout from eggs to the end of their fly rod gives a sense of importance of clean, natural, cold water streams. Campers assist each other in planting several native plants along a nearby river. This activity reinforces the importance of buffers in maintaining cold water streams by protecting them from silty runoff from rain and human activity. When you come back, maybe come back to this spot and think about what you've done and how maybe you made a little bit of a difference. Lodging is fully chaperoned in safe and comfortable cottages with four bedrooms, each with twin beds and a private bathroom. As the week comes to a close, campers pair up to participate in the fly fishing challenge. Each team is assigned a section of the stream to fish. They must work together to define their winning strategy, to select the best flies they've tied during the week. They cooperate with each other to make sure they secure the largest number of trout for their team. She caught a fish! Prizes of fly fishing equipment and supplies, donated by a number of organizations, companies and individuals, help campers sustain their love of fly fishing. Each camper also receives a year's free membership in Trout Unlimited so they can participate in their local TU chapters. At the end of the week, campers reunite with their parents and families for lunch. Then, it's homeward bound with the memories of new friends and activities and hopefully, a lifelong enjoyment of fly fishing, a commitment to conservation, and a love of nature. For more information about River Course participation, contact your local TU chapter, or go to rivercourse.org. The experience will enrich a child's love of the outdoors and the sport of fly fishing. I want to see them coming up to them. <laughs>